We are seeing for the first time the moment Matthew Moore was arrested for the murder of his wife, Emily Noble. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11, everybody. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. Along with that video, we have an exclusive interview with the ex-wife of the Westerville murder suspect. 10 TV's Brittany Bailey breaks it all down for us. Matt, use your left hand and unlock the door. Only your left hand. Put your hands back on your head. Do not move. Yes, sir. It was the moment Emily Noble's death turned into a murder case. Westerville police took her husband, Matthew Moore, into custody, and one woman was watching from afar. We can never last contact, really. Lisa Peterson lives in Las Vegas and is Matthew Moore's ex-wife and the mother of his two children, both now deceased. So it sounds like maybe you had a little bit of an up and down relationship over the years, would you say? Oh, yeah. Yes. One of the low points happened back on New Year's Day 2001. The two had been married just three months, but were separated and living apart. He came over, and I know he did. For some reason, he ended up, yeah, putting his hands around my neck, and he started to choke me. And uh, he stopped. Do you remember feeling, you know, in fear of your life back then? Yes. She says it never happened again, and they stayed in touch over the years, even talking the night before his arrest. But that's when things started to turn. Ever since I found out that the details, I mean, I didn't know the details. Once the details were made clear to me, I started to lean toward his guilt. Those details were that Emily Noble's death was staged to look like a suicide, according to investigators. Peterson and Moore's teenage son had died by suicide the summer before she disappeared. My heart goes out to Emily's family and friends. I just know that no win comes out of this, you know. No, there's no, there's not a win situation, but if he is guilty, then he will pay. He's paying right now, and he will continue to if he is guilty. For now, that's up to the courts to decide as Moore sits in jail awaiting his fate. Brittany Bailey, 10 TV News. Matthew Moore is being held on a $2.5 million bond. He is due back in court in August.